Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. Welcome by Blooms, Bats and Sarge, episode number seven already. So I thought, yeah, let's do a nice update on this beautiful day. And it always makes me happy. I'm really uh, enjoying summer and spring, but a uh, beautiful uh, sunshine. And um, so I thought this is a nice uh, day to start filming and to do some updates. And let's go to the first update. And they are not open yet, but here, let me see. This is better, I think. A beautiful spike with uh, three butts. So to see, yeah, three butts. And this is a first time bloomer. It's going to be a first time bloomer. Canary orange, Yarek. I'm really looking forward to the blooms. On the picture, they uh, seem to be very nice, so, uh, but soon I uh, can film them and see them in real life. So that's the first update. And the second update is, um, because I love this weather, like I said, I can now uh, spray again. I use this pump sprayer. I have just some RO water in it with some seaweed and I can really spray all of my orchids and I really enjoy it, I think, because I uh, can see that the uh, aerial roots start to uh, grow again. They're really uh, sucking up the moisture and I think they uh, nicely respond to it. And I really enjoy doing that. I don't know what it is, but yeah, it's not that often that we can uh, spray our orchids here in this uh, climate of course because it's too cold and some of them are going over by the way <laughs> dropping their leaf, uh, the blooms like this one but these cells have been in bloom for so long and probably the heat isn't uh, helping them as much but on the other hand like I said they have been blooming for quite a while but you can see I still have a, a lot of them in bloom so uh, that's okay because on this side it's now 30 degrees Celsius and that's this area gets uh, quite some sun so therefore it's a little bit higher down there where I start filming it's uh, 24 so that's beautiful and we have here my Moroyana Spectabilis Miltonia <laughs> reading it back uh, backwards almost but uh, let me see yeah here it is I now know these are spikes Last year I had no clue because that was the first time it uh, started to bloom. And we have more here, you can see in the back there. And we have here one I counted yesterday and I at least counted 13, but probably even more. You can see here we have two quite closely together. And the other part of this plant I still have, this is this one. And this one is also spiking. I don't know how much, well, at least two. <laughs> I think uh, three. But yeah, that's something to look forward to because it's, uh, those blooms are very beautiful, I think. And here is my uh, Shilap Tolkien starting to bloom as well. Just opening up with those beautiful blooms. This one is upside down, but nonetheless and I have this spike is a little bit small it only has carries three but so to see but three spikes in total it's a fairly young plant so it's doing uh, quite well I think then down here we have this uh, I call this my spotted sunset is open again still beautiful but yeah those spots shouldn't be there I think but yeah, therefore I keep it, it's just nice. And if you compare this with this one, you can obviously see the difference. This is uh, how a sunset should look like, but still, I think uh, both of them are very, uh, very nice. So, and I have even a Masdevelia. And I took my Masdevelias into the greenhouse, as you can see. You probably know that I, before I had them in the orchid room, which is a bit cooler, but I think that these could get a little bit more light. These two are my fairly newest ones. Those have a bit lighter green leaves than this one. This is the first one. So yeah, it did bloom, but 
it didn't do as well so I have them near the floor so it's a bit cooler here and I have this door open for the greenhouse turn it open in the morning and you can see it's windy there's fresh air coming in and normally if I'm not filming I have this uh, ventilator on as well so um, I think they will have enough fresh air but it's a little project to see if they do better this one is even dried up you can see the algae this is my uh, end buckleberry I should water this one that meter was stuck yes <laughs> so next to it is my uh, oh I need to speak yeah Wilbur Chang double film all those very light leaves are all new growths so it's growing like crazy it's putting up even more here as you can see new growths but so far I didn't have any spikes on it yet but who knows who knows but yeah it's doing very very well it's becoming a fairly big plant and I even have here a twinkle spike but this spike is fairly thick normally they were, uh, are a little bit thinner but it has also a nice bulb it's bigger than uh, than the rest and it's even working on some new growths so I think they are doing better my twinkles finally here I have my cherry baby red uh, I'm sorry yeah cherry baby ruby doll that's the word <laughs> I couldn't see it uh, clearly enough but uh, you can see this one is working on a uh, beautiful spike it's a fairly young plant last year it uh, did bloom for the first time for me but uh, it looks like we are going to get quite some uh, blooms on this one and while it's working on a spike it's also working on that new growth there that didn't do so well but it's uh, coming back to life <laughs> basically I mean other my first one is uh, doing better again it was basically rootless I think it was the start of this uh, this year so I did repot it and the bulbs aren't as big but I have new roots so I'm uh, leaving the spikes on a beautiful long spike these almost uh, touched the roof but so far they can stay but I think I might move it uh, soon a uh, dendrobium phenoliopsis is working on a beautiful spike here that is snow jade yes snow jade and also working on a uh, new growth so yeah these denfels really love uh, this weather the warmer weather this one has actually two spikes a beautiful yellow one and why not upside down let me turn the camera <laughs> This is the uh, Dendrobium Puff 58 Yellow Fragrant. Let me zoom in if you want to know. Bit strange name. I don't know why the 58 is there, but yeah, it should be fragrant. I I love this one. A beautiful yellow color. And best blooming so far with two beautiful spikes. And the rest is most of them are working on new growths. And coming back in to life from winter, not all of them did so well in winter because of the cold. And my Havrianum is still working on this spike here, but it has this spike here as well. Let me move this one. Oops. The neighbor. So yeah, that's looking good, but the plant itself isn't looking that, that great yet, but I hope it will do better yeah I think it will so let's move over to this side of the greenhouse where we started these are my uh, new plants still uh, settling and whoops I'm sorry there goes my mic <laughs> not sure I may have added that uh, part out but my, my mic did fall on the floor but look at this beautiful isn't it really beautiful I just rip repotted it with uh, with those both spikes on and as you can see they are still growing like nothing uh, happened but as soon as this uh, starts to make new roots they can adapt to uh, the self watering system so that's nice that's a little back division of that white layer. here I have my 
So go relax. That is actually this one. And it's making progressing and uh, growing uh, further with that spike. And I think this one as well, yes. So that seems to be uh, enjoying itself. And here is this, uh, the rest of this cat layer. You saw the back bulb there, or the back bulb, so I should say, there in the back. Those are coming from this one. And then we have this beautiful Mil Miltonia cross. And let me check. Yeah, it's even putting up another spike. I did cut the spikes because it barely had any roots. I did cut off three spikes. But it doesn't agree with me. <laughs> So let me see, I don't see new roots yet. Oops, I'm sorry. We have some roots that I can wait, but it barely had any roots, so. But it doesn't look that bad, but you can see it's a bit dehydrating. So yeah, that spike will come off as well. Because sometimes I do adapt them with spikes, as you saw with the fells, but I keep an eye on them. If they start uh, to uh, dehydrate then i will uh, cut the flower spikes so those two are fine but this one as we saw does uh, show some signs of dehydration so therefore i uh, will uh, cut that flower spike off soon my encyclia africana one of the two are uh, adapting as we speak <laughs> this one isn't showing new roots yet so we have to wait a little bit longer, but I think it will be fine. The other one is doing absolutely wonderful. Let's see, in the back here, with a beautiful uh, new root adapting into, and that new growth is straightened up. It was a little bit bendy. So, uh, but that video on my repot will be uh, on my uh, channel soon. It isn't done yet, but I did uh, pre-film that. And because my last uh, video was also a repotting video, I thought, well, I'm going to do a bloom, but and such, which is basically a greenhouse, green, uh, orchid bloom update in between. So we don't have too much uh, repotting videos. I like to uh, change it uh, from time to time and not putting only one thing or one theme on my uh, channel. So therefore uh, you will see the repots of those two. And yeah, I've sprayed these guys as well, and I think I can see it that the green of the leaves, they really, really like it. I think they uh, are almost getting a little bit shiny, and I didn't use any oils of, or etc., but they really look healthy. This is absolutely their weather, of course. Very nice and bright, warm, not hot, but warm. Yeah, only this one, it's a sad one, but this one wasn't doing so well. It's a seedling, but... Not sure if I can uh, can save it, but I uh, I will try. And this one in the back is making a beautiful new growth. As you can see again, beautiful foliage there. This one is a bit darker there, but still it's greening up. So that's doing beautiful. My Brazzavola types are uh, here. Well, we started with that, uh, this one with a beautiful spike. This is actually not a Brazzavola type. If oh, is it? Oh, it's a brush of cutler, yeah, so uh, not far off, it's a cross. <laughs> so yeah, and this one is, I see that this one is working on a new root, and that's what, uh, what I see when I start spraying the, uh, with um, the seaweed, they really like it. And here I have some nicer color green leaves, a few purple ones, but this, is, uh, this part of the plant doesn't look so well, I must admit. But if we turn it, I think that's some new growth. Yeah, we have definitely a new growth here and we have new roots. And this is on my, oops, little stars. Brush of all, whoops, brush of all the little stars. So that's doing better. Do we have more updates? Well, yeah, we have beautiful new growths. We have a beautiful new growth here in the back on my Lelia Anthips Alba. Very young plant, but I'm really, really looking forward uh, to the blooms of that one. 
well actually on all of my orchids of course but uh, <laughs> whoops roots roots we love the roots <laughs> new growth here and some uh, ferns that I try to get off out of the pot as much as I can this is my golden elf also beautiful green nice color very healthy color and it's working on this new root it decided to become uh, not only aerial <laughs> i think and i have a new growth starting yes there it is oops it's a little bit uh, i have a bit of a glare on my screen but there uh, there it is and i hope and uh, they're in the back let me zoom in just above my finger yeah it's very dark i'm sorry but i think there's an eye of this this bulb here this one so i hope that one will make a new growth as well so we have two directions of growth and even more would even be better but two would be uh, great already and oops i'm tangled up and this one is making beautiful new growth as well look at that it starts to getting a bit greener now i have the shading net on it's this here is a new growth as well and it's on my new trick something new trick where are this the name <laughs> the name tag so that would be a first uh, bloomer for me as well and then we have this big one this one is doing so well for me this is uh, the durigan and we did a uh, care clap on this one but yeah, this one is really enjoying the uh, net basket as a cell watering setup. We have some roots there. And I was hoping that this, uh, this eye would shoot out as well, but it decided to put uh, all the energy in this one. But this one is already bigger than the previous uh, cane, so that's uh, beautiful as well, of course. And then my uh, Encyclia. Come on, uh, Tempest, Var Alba, variety Alba, almost starting to bloom, almost. We did lose a few buds here and there. Once again, maybe because it was a little bit, uh, I'm sorry, it was a little bit too light. I didn't have the shade netting yet, but I had to put it here because of the long spikes. And it was sitting here next to my uh, other Encyclias. Oh, that's, that's actually, I think it's a Cattleya hybrid i did ask somebody so those are uh, encyclias anyhow it was sitting there but the spikes they touched the shelf above it but yeah almost almost open and then next to it i will do a proper update on these guys of course but uh, we have my uh, yellow venda and it, these blooms are a little bit rusty colored on the outside but it, it will if it's uh, doing what it always did it will be a nice yellow overall but it's still just opening up and growing and look at that two spikes it never had that happen so since i putting them back into the glass faces they do so so much better and even this white one i think it's the third spike already in this new setup this one is basically always blooming it's just turned uh this uh, was done blooming with this spike and then it's already grew this one like it always does and it even has a beautiful keiki as this other one um, you can see it this is the keiki and this big fat root is coming from that keiki <laughs> so yeah doing well doing well my katsitam you guys it's they are going crazy so so big that bulb was last year's bulb this was the first time i ever grew them so I was very happy with that. Yeah, maybe it's maybe it's getting even bigger. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? As this one, this those two, this one and the uh, previous one had the big biggest yeah, bulbs, canes. Now bulbs, I think. Yeah, bulbs, uh, because they have uh, they store f uh, f uh, food in it. So the, these should be bulbs, if I'm correct and also working on a beautiful new growth wonderful and there another one also working and i think this one is going to be bigger as last year as well 
And then down here we have the other one. I hope you can show it like this. It's a bit tangled up there in the corner, but uh, it's doing well as, as well. And yeah, this one looks like it has a lot of water, but it's stuck. So yeah, this one, they, these need to be watered as well. These really started growing. And of course we can see why they need the water and the feed. <laughs> But so far I only feed them uh, like my uh, other orchids, so I do not high feedings anymore. I did it last year maybe once or two times and the rest of it I didn't do it and I did grow a beautiful thick bulb. So I'm, I'm just, they, they get what everybody else is getting. It's easier for me and so far they, uh, they seem to do wonderful well. So yeah, why should I change it? I know all the people say they need feed, feed, feed. And yeah probably they do need a feed but here they do so well so i'm not going to change it just to see and we have new growth on my acaste one here and one there and this one is making one so i need to do oh i see two as well so at least two on uh, both of them that's beautiful a little uh, update on my tolumnia my one of my last videos we had a talk about the two subscribers and i should look up your, both of your names i apologize i didn't because i wasn't planning on uh, doing this now but we had a uh, i had two suggestions for a name for this one i will do another video on it i think one of them is right both of them are incredibly close so i will never be 100 percent sure well actually this one i thought that would be would be more one colored but you can see it's, it has more yellow in it and that was the second option which I thought it wouldn't wasn't right but I need to have another look so thank you so much I always appreciate it when people try to help me out with the names because it's very easy for my notes and obviously if people want to know which orchid uh, it is and they want to buy it it's handy to have an, uh, a name this one is starting to do better but these two didn't do so well and this is still not doing well but i think there we have some new roots so it probably will get there but it takes a bit longer but now i have them over here they start to green up again <laughs> as you can see they were fairly purple because i didn't have shade knitting and i had them over here maybe you remember i had another shelf underneath that with a light basically directly on them it's still there the light that was a bit too much they start up uh, to get really uh, purple. But now I put them here again. Last year I had them over there, but it's lighter. So I thought that's nice to have my catacidia, catacidiae over there. And I, I really like the look of it. Yes. A, a beautiful little row of telumnias. <laughs> and my vanilla orchid is doing great. Putting up new roots. And here you can see this is the new cane and look at the size it's a bit bigger than the previous and here there it's a growing tip and it's almost as the same height where it stopped last year because the aphids uh, did find it and did eat off the uh, growing tip but luckily it's starting again so yeah i'm planning on letting this uh, go through the roof and here and go to the back something like that and all the way to the to the greenhouse that would be amazing i think and maybe some days someday it would uh, show some blooms but uh i think we are a, a few years from that but who knows and you can see the difference nice speckles on this leaf where it, it hadn't as obvious speckles going on on the, on the previous leaf so that's a also a sign when things are doing better so yeah here's my i'm trying this one this is the uh sarcogiles prama lemon drop i'm putting the i have this in uh, in a clay pot as well and so far yeah we do have a little bit of dehydration but that was just before repotting already happened because i couldn't um keep up with the watering but the uh, new growths do look very shiny and beautiful i think so who knows because it's a beautiful one i love them and i promised myself if i do get it 
healthy or remained healthy, bigger and blooming again, I might buy some more. But first I need to work on this one. <laughs> I need to learn how to work with it, how to grow it well. Sorry for that peeping sound. Just a quick look around in the orchid room. Oi, oi, oi. My Miltonia. Ops. Whoops. Miltonia abscesses. Yeah. Spikes, blooms, all the blooms. <laughs> it's part of the, of the growing as well, a growing experience. Just a uh, quick look. Oh, I love them so much. <laughs> They're so beautiful. This one is really putting up a second spike almost. Newton Falls doing great still. And then we have this one. Such a beauty as well. So yeah, oh yeah, there's something here, an update. My na Navium, Navium. Where's the tag? Here it is. Odontoglossum Navium. It had one spike, it was the biggest spike so far for me, that it broke off. Then I saw this, these two spikes, and you can see those have been eaten by spider mites. So yeah, probably as you can see, I will have a few blooms left, but it should be such a good blooming. One, I really had a very long spike over here. I thought, well, two in the back there, beautiful for pictures, but the spider whites, I didn't notice them uh, early enough. So yeah, they eat uh, the basically the whole thing. So yeah, it's a little bit sad, but anyhow, these are still uh, transitioning as well, but we are going on the right track. As you can see, we have a new growth. And I think I soon I should take off the spike because it really is putting energy in the new growth as well. And that's what we want. But the blooms are so beautiful. I love this color combination. So yeah, they need to go someday. This is the Alkmaar, oh don't gloss on Alkmaar. And then we have a, this one, I did show it earlier all, but already, but um, oi. Look at that spike, it's so heavy. I'm almost afraid to turn it around. Should I stake it? They should be able to, to maintain their cell, themselves, right? To maintain the spikes, be strong enough to, uh, yeah, maintain them. Is that the right word? I'm not sure, actually, but yeah, I think you know what I mean, so. But anyhow, I, f I think I need to give this one a bit of support. But I'm waiting on these guys to open up. Then I can turn it and I can take pictures and we can have a proper look at it. And then we have a beautiful spike here. Some blooms are almost opening up. That's on my Bellara Ren Renensis Coral. It's also such a beauty. So, you guys, that is most of the updates I have. Oh, this is the Pinocchio. It's still working on uh, on new buds. Even though I did repot it, but it has basically every single root. I think there were uh, about 10 roots. So quite some root system, quite a root system. They all were having uh, new growing tips. So I just did uh, put in uh, some our old water with some seaweed, let it adjust, and it looks like it really is uh, taking well, the new setup. And this is even my American hybrid. The last bloom, it's still here. This blooms uh, for, uh, for a very long, very long time. So yeah, and I have my Oncidium is here. Uh, that's the last update for, uh, for today. But uh, I had them always in my greenhouse, but when I was visiting Landsbergen, uh, they did give some information and also about the Oncidium and they had them uh, not that warm. I had in my greenhouse, like uh, like we just discussed, it can get uh, around 30 degrees, but apparently the Oncidium, according to, him, to them, do not, do not like it as much, that warm. They should go around, uh, well, 24, 25 degrees, which I have in my uh, orchid room, with a humidity of 60%, 24 uh, degrees Celsius. So let's see, because this one is always struggling. It's now making a new route. So that's beautiful, but 
And this one is uh, my uh, sweet sugar. It's putting out quite some roots also. I'm not sure if this, because I've just recently, about two weeks ago, I did put them here. Maybe uh, because this one is also making new roots. <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, this one as well. <laughs> so all four of them starting to make new roots. Who knows? Let's see what happens. So that was something uh, I did forget last time, but this is a good update. Just to keep an eye on and maybe you have some information on it. I'm not that good at with the uh, obsidians, but now I may have the, found a problem. So who knows, who knows? We, uh, we will see what they uh, will do. Um, yeah, that's it for now, I think. So thank you uh, for watching. And of course, as usual, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And of course, if you like, give this a thumbs up. And also for the new subscribers, thank you so much for being here. I'm really appreciating you subscribe to my channel. And of course, uh, those who were here already, a big thank you. For now, um, once again, thank you for watching and I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye bye.